Okay, this is a, a Gavin Link call and a tutorial video about setting your touch takeaway up. So our first step is to open our browser and go to the website touchoffice.net. Uh, this has actually let me log in straight away. I'm just going to log out because I'd like to show you the login screen. So you'll be given a login ID. Okay, password. And it takes you into the first screen. So if we select products on the left, third one down, and we look at some of the items that we have here. So we're going to look at the small chips. It takes you into the settings for this. And as you can see here, this is the price. But we have an option here that says web shop options. Selecting on here will basically let you allow it to be bought on the website and to give it a category which will be presented in your website um, for people to choose. So we need to add a category. So I'm going to call this Okay, so we want that one in there and we can also upload an image for it also so we can choose so if we don't have anything you can cheat by going on google now it is always best to use your own images if you can but to start with to get you up and running We can select one from the internet. So what are we after? We are after, if I just click on details, it takes me back into this. And we should, it's a small chip, so we're after. So let's see if there's such image. Not sure why that's asking that for. Okay, so we've found this nice image here. So we can save image. And I'm just going to save that small chips on my desktop. Go back to my touch office. Back to web shop, web shop options. And I'm going to upload my image. So desktop, small chips. Here we have it. So we've got one small chips, show on the website and save. So we're going to obviously want to work our way through all the PLUs. So if we click on next, it takes us to the regular chips. Again, we need to follow the same process, put it in a category, show it 